time frame secrets that all traders need to know. My name is Sir Trevor from Elizabeth Forex. All right, Elizabeth Forex family, welcome back to the video. So we're continuing. So today, guys, just wanna make uh, I just wanna make some clarity on today's lesson. So. What you're gonna understand in today? Remember that on uh, understanding forex candlestick formation part one, part one on the playlist. It's written there, part one. I told you about um, the opening price and the closing of the candle. So you need to understand that concept in order to understand how a candlestick operates on every time frame. Right. So we're gonna start with the monthly. Okay weekly daily four hour one hour 30 minute 15 minute five minute one minute and i am going to break this down to you so that you can understand how to use candlestick on each and every time frame so that you can have a better chance of finding high probability setups for you to make a profit and you'll become a profitable trader using these principles that i show you right so if it's your first time um, tuning in to the Elucidate Forex, you know, click on that uh, subscribe button. When you click on the subscribe button, what you expect from us is content every week that helps you to become a professional, better trader. So, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I love you guys. Let's push. Let's push. Let's get this knowledge and make this money. Right? So, the next video I'll be showing you. Um, the next video I'll be showing you how to um, to 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 to, 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 to use the information that I have given you so far to your advantage to trade. All right. So we'll be moving from beginner course to advanced strategies. All right. So I bet this must be one of the last videos of beginner course. Right, so we're gonna start a new playlist which is advanced trading. This is a Trevor. Let's dive into the charts and see how April was doing on the NAS 100. So I'm on the uh NAS 100. So as you can see, in April, so I'm gonna take my two guys to spot the candle over here. All right, so this is the April uh, candlestick. So on my chart, uh, sorry, I didn't make this clear. So on my chart, blue means buy, right? And white means sell. So we can see this white candle here marked with the vertical yellow line, dotted vertical line, represents um, the month of April 2022, right? So so what was happening over there uh, let me just remove this to disturbing me so this candle over here uh let me take a an object to mark that candle okay so that you can see i'm gonna mark it with dark gray so as you can see that candle over there yes that candle over there remember guys remember you need to watch that video if you don't understand so when a candle is selling, it will start from the top, dropping to the downside, all right? So this is what happened here. The open price is at the top on a selling candle, all right? And the closing is at the bottom where the candle stopped, all right? So this means the whole of April, Nasdaq has been bearish, guys. You understand? So. This means, let me remove the tool and demonstrate. I need to teach you quickly. So this is the opening price. I'm going to use this. Uh, okay, let me remove everything here because I need to start afresh so that you can understand. Um, all right. All right, so so you can see this candle here, the, the the selling candle, right after this blue candle, this one, 
okay? It's a long selling white candle. The silver, it's actually silver. So I'm gonna take a horizontal line. So this horizontal line, guys, will represent the open price of the Nasdaq candle. Okay? So it means in April this candle started over here to form. And then it so as you can see this rejection means it went up. So if at the beginning of April you would think that Nasdaq was gonna buy, but it was just a rejection. Sellers came in strongly and came and went down, alright, and closed here. Alright. So all this month, all this time, in the month of April, sellers, the bears, were in charge, were in control of this Nasdaq uh, indices or indices, right? So they were in charge of selling positions, which means buyers had less probability. So sellers had more probability. So even now, on the current month, we might get an opportunity to sell even more because we are still on a very strength until highs higher highs oh i'm sorry i mean lower highs are broken right that that's when we can now start to look for buying opportunities but i'll make a video for you to understand what are higher highs and roll because i'm sure you're confused where you are right now so the open price the closing price remember i am on the monthly time frame so that means when you are operating on a monthly time frame it takes one candlestick to form so it will take one month for one candle to form so this candle over here took one month it took the whole of april to form so now we are currently on may all right we are currently on may the candle is still forming it's not finished so we do not know yet if it's gonna buy or sell all right you get it all right so let's go to one week one w1 means one week which means a week all right so it means now let me shift okay now we are currently on the weekly time frame so it means when you are operating on a weekly time frame, guys, it means each and every candlestick that you see the blue or silver on your phones, I'm sure it's black or white. Some of you can set the settings as red and green, which means buy or sell. Either way, right? So here on the weekly time frame, it simply means each and every candlestick here that you see will take a week to form. So for a for 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 a monthly for 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 you to determine price of a month when you come to the weekly it might be four weeks so four candles they will represent april so let's check okay let's check let's check let's check if i'm i'm i'm, I'm speaking the truth right now because i might be lying to you all i might be lying to you all so let's check um so we'll start with the where april starts i think the yes correct so 04 you can see it's april from the third the third of april was the was the opening all right of the monthly candle so when we come to the weekly candle obviously it also opened right so we need how many candles so that's candle number one of the weekly two three four it took four candles guys accurate accurate the way i predicted <laughs> just joking it's the knowledge that i have i already know okay so four candles on the weekly time frame make a month all right I need you to write this down, right? So that you can understand. So you know that four candles down there, they actually mean that no, it's one candle. When they're all combined, four of all four of them, 
they become one huge candle way on the monthly time frame. I hope you understand. If you don't understand, watch this video again. We are moving, we are moving, we are moving. So which means from here, from that line, that horizontal line, it's the same line that I marked from the monthly open price and then down here it's the closing of the monthly price of april right guys i hope it's getting into your brains right now all right so let's go let's go let's see let's see so how many days are there in four weeks working days we have 20 days guys come on come on we have 20 days five times four there we go 20. All right, let's go to daily. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay. Let's see. If I count all these candles and they are not 20, I'm no longer uh, shooting videos. Let's see. Let's see. So we have 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 18. 19 20 okay so to be accurate let's let's check the dates I'm, i don't want to cheat myself as well because i still want to shoot for you all right so yeah started here one two three four five six seven eight Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, guys. Twenty, boom. Twenty. Yeah, twenty. So I'm accurate. Twenty candles. Twenty daily candles. We are on the daily time frame. Sorry, guys. Stick with me. We are on the daily time frame here. So which means twenty candles. It's a whole month, guys. Because this forex, we're working with business days. Weekends don't count when it comes to stocks or currencies. Okay? All right. So, as you can see, the horizontal uh, white line is still there. Okay? It's still there. And it represents that it was the open price of the monthly. We're still going back now. We're referring. So, so what am I doing, guys, showing you this? I'm actually helping you to understand price on each and every time frame so that you can have a better understanding in your insights and visual okay so that you understand when you analyze you know what you're doing because i see a lot of traders they don't know they don't know what they're doing they don't know this basic concept and these basic concepts guys they will help you to become a better trader when i give you the full strategy all right small details guys they matter because small mistakes they come from uh, lacking small knowledge small knowledge may actually help you to become a better trader some of you find that you are, you are good at analyzing you're already trading you are good at analyzing the only problem is not knowing this basic concept if you know this one you will know what is top down analysis and if you know top down analysis you know that you get high probability setups even though you lose once in a while but that loss doesn't affect your account because you know this knowledge, right? Without any further ado, let's continue. Let's continue. Now that we can see that from here to there, 20 candles made a month. All right. So let's continue to four hour. Four hour means for each and every candlestick to form. It takes four hours, guys. Simple. That's what it means. H4. All right. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Um, I think I have to zoom out so that you can see. I'm gonna have a struggle when I come to 15 minute time frame and five minutes for you guys to see, for you guys to see the whole month because I'm trying to show you the whole month. We're still talking about the April price movement. So this is what it means. It means a April price movement. And for those who are gonna, I think I'm thinking of uh, doing a mentorship. So when you come to the mentorship, I'm gonna set up a test for you guys. So which means if you can't answer some questions on the test and you fail it, I can't continue mentoring you until you watch these videos. That means you haven't watched these videos. You don't know 
uh, press movement and all these things. But anyway, let's continue. Four hour. This candle, one candle takes four hour to form. So a daily candle, guys. So now we are referring four hour with daily. You see, and we can also refer all of the press movement, the open here. Oh, sorry. Let me use my. <laughs> I'm using my finger. I forgot you can see. Um. So this uh, arrow here. All right. Um, from this level to this level, it simply means, guys, that it uh on four hour it means the four candlesticks, all right. So so let me show you something. Let me show you something. Um, uh, let me just grab my phone here. Um. Uh, Ah, so guys, so um, uh, twenty four. We have twenty four hours in a day divided by four will give you six. So, so which means for a daily candle to form for one day, or when you come to four hour, four candles. I mean, si sorry, six candles make a day. So from here, let me show you this arrow here. One, two, three, four, five, six candles. They were a day, all right. So here, yeah. how many candles um do we have? I'm gonna times twenty. So we have one hundred and twenty candles. They take, I mean, they make a a month. So the whole of April had four hour, one hundred and twenty candles from four hour guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? So from here to down there, it all represents the monthly, guys. The monthly. The monthly. It was all a cell. So let's move on. I, I bet, guys, now I can start uh, going. I, I can stop uh, talking too much because I think you understand from this point. So let me just be quick so that this video uh, must not be uh, long. Right? So let me zoom out. So on one hour, I, guys, you know, one hour means uh, it takes one candle to form. It takes one hour for one candle to form. All right. So this from this open price here, the horizontal line here, guys. Here, guys. I need you to concentrate because it's very important. This forex is like All right, guys. So from here to the downside, guys, it means there are twenty-four candles for for, for one day it takes. 24 candles to form okay times 20 guys we have 480 candles for the whole month that's a lot guys how much can you make from that a lot of money so let's make money guys so let's make money can you see guys i hope you understand i hope you know i'm trying to be playful as much as possible so that you all don't become too serious because forex is really hard and it's so serious right now that you can even fall asleep because sometimes it can be boring when you don't understand what's happening. So, guys, you understand? So we're going to 30 minutes. Same concept, same thing, guys. The difference is time frame and candles, the number of candles. So I'm no longer going to calculate uh, the number of candles because this is a lot. This is a lot. Okay. So from this open price here to the... So which means when we are operating on a 30 minute time frame, that means for one candle, guys, to form, it takes 30 minutes. And from here to the, I bet, guys, let me just calculate anyways. Uh, I need you to understand. I don't want you to be asking me a lot of questions on the comment section. Because, yo. Thank you for 1,000 subscribers. Just do okay. Guys, subscribe, subscribe. Let's take it to 1,000. Uh, yes, guys. Let's do this. I need to make an impact. I need to... I, I need uh, people to use my uh, education to their advantage. I want to hear testimonials one day, you know, that I'm actually helping someone out there. For free. For free. All right? Yes. So, open price here. Uh, closing price there. All right? 30 minutes takes for one candle to form. It takes 30 minutes, right? So which means the whole month of April, guys, we have six, oh, sorry. 
we have 960 candles under 30 minutes time frame. So 960 candles the whole of April. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot. Oh yeah. The next video I'll be teaching you what is a lot size, what is a pip. So we're not done with the forex uh, basic uh, course playlist. So sorry, guys, for the wrong information I gave in the beginning of the video. So we're still working. Woo! Still pushing, still pushing. So 15 minutes. 15 minutes. All right. So I'm trying the best I can to zoom out. It's so hard. I told you guys, I told you when you come to 15 minutes, it's really hard because the candles now are a lot. There's too much data for the computer to be showing us on the full screen. So I have to minimize the view. You understand the view guys it's the view for me i'm trying to zoom out i'm trying to i'm trying the best i can guys i'm doing this for you guys this late forex family um, don't worry guys trust the process it's gonna take some time for some of you. Some of you are smart. It's gonna be fast. So you're gonna be profitable. So you might be watching this video and you're like, bro, when are we gonna start making some money yet? When are we trading yet? Because you've been teaching, teaching endlessly. No, guys. This is what I went through before I traded, right? So, and there are a lot of mistakes that I made. So, okay, anyway, let's forget about that. I'll make a video specifically on that, right? About my mistakes and how did I make it. But please stick with me. Just learn for now. Don't rush to trade, okay? So from this level, we are on the 15-minute time frame. 15-minute time frame means that each candle for April took 15 minutes, all right? So divide. No, times two. So 15 minutes will have one thousand nine hundred and nine. Oh, nine one. Uh, I'm like some president. You can't count. Okay, one thousand nine hundred and twenty guys. One thousand nine hundred and twenty candles to form guys. When you're operating on the fifteen minute time frame, so that's a lot for the month of April itself. So there are a lot of pips there. Pips means percentage in point, and I'll teach you what it means. So from there to here, it was the open price and the closing price, where you see the white horizontal line. Okay, guys, you get it? So we go to five minutes, the last two. So the second last, uh, last but not least, yes, it's five minutes. So from here, so... So on the five minute for the whole of April, guys, it will take under five uh, five minute time frame. It will take five thousand seven hundred and sixty candles to form for the whole month of April. That's a lot of pips. You need to take that into consideration. That, guys, how much are you losing? Okay, <laughs> and how much? And what you should do to win, I'll be teaching you these things. To win such a lot of pips. So simple, guys. So simple. It was hard for me at first. I lost a lot of money. Like I said, I'll make a video on that. Now let's continue. From the open price going down, I'm scrolling. So it's hard for me to capture the whole view. Okay? So we are coming to the end of the video. I'll be explaining to you why am I teaching you this. There's the closing price right here, right here. Yes, we spotted it right there. Mm -hmm. That's where April closed, guys. It closed going to the downside. Obviously, it surpassed this level and went back. So the level that I marked was the closing price. So on this this view, this price here, 
on the on the monthly um on the monthly it's a rejection guys so i mark the open price and the closing price so which means it went here and went back to that price and then it closed then april the month of april it was chai guys it was done so it closed there and then now we are on may <laughs> april is the past guys mm. so now we're going to one minute so times five so one minute for one month it takes eleven thousand five hundred and twenty candles to form okay yay so let's go to the open price so as i said guys as i said i want to show you okay let me finish i think i'm i'm rushing to tell you the secret because this the, the, the title of the video i don't lie guys i don't do uh 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 clickbait thumbnail type of thing no showing you the real thing what i promised i give unto you mm. I'm looking for the open price. This might take time. Okay. There's too much data because uh on it's trying to focus the whole data. Okay, so that you can have a better view. But it can't because of the a lot of candles, like as you can see here. There's eleven thousand five hundred and twenty candles formulating under one minute for April, guys. I mean Candles that were formulated under April, the month of April. So it can't capture the whole picture under one minute time frame because one minute time frame there are small candles, very small candles, and you can see. So it's the same thing, but the difference here it takes one minute for one candle to form. We've reached uh, the end of the video, guys, and the purpose of this video it was for you to understand candlesticks under each time frame guys so what happens when we match this with other time frames which time frame is better for you to use so the answer is all candles all time frames are better are the best for you to use. you should use all of them to analyze and uh and you are thinking right now you're watching this video you are a beginner and you are saying how do we analyze? This is my first time. I don't know what you're talking about. Your terminology is too tough for me, bro. I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, I will make you to understand, okay, on advanced. I just want you to grab this concept for now. Write down on the notes, on your notebook. Keep the information there because fire content is coming after beginner course. Next series you will know how to buy and sell. I still didn't make a video on how to buy and sell on your MetaTrader app. So how to use MetaTrader app will be coming part two. There's too much content that I want to give to you, but all I want you to do guys is to show seriousness, dedication, and by subscribing, guys. like my videos, comment there, Talk to me, guys. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. You should comment, you know. Tell me what you want to see on the next video. Then I can plan on making that video, especially for you, because you're, you're so special. You know? You're so special. Yeah. So, comment. Tell me what you want. Your boy is going to throw you a video. On whatever content you want me to post based on forex nothing else it's all about forex here forex world forex life forex everything so guys um so yeah i was saying that when you understand every time frame what's happening here it's the same thing when we say monthly one minute if you're going to the downside on the monthly right we're also going to the downside on the small time frame. So the difference between big time frames, all right, and small time frame is this. You need to understand there are three types of traders, all right? I'll make a video on this, but I'll just, uh, let me just go through it on this video so that when I make another video, you'll have, you already have pre-knowledge on what it is. So 
So, so the 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 swing traders that are from um, monthly time frame, weekly time frame, and daily time frame. Mark this swing trading. Okay, so which means these are I'm going to detail in the next video. Okay, let me know, explain who are they. So these are monthly, weekly, daily traders, and then we have intraday, intraday traders. All right, these are group two. So they trade the the markets looking from four hour, one hour, and thirty minutes. All right, those are intraday traders. Four hour, one hour, thirty minutes. All right. All right. So we have the last group. Okay, scalp traders. They are on 15 minute, 5 minute, 1 minute, guys. So on the next video, I'll be explaining to you those three types of traders. My name is Sir Trevor, guys. I love you. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that you know next time I drop. This is Sir Trevor signing out from University Forex.